Kababayan. It's a Wednesday and on Kababayan LA today we'll help you get over the hump by giving you tips on how to enhance aspects of your life. We have feng shui tips for you. I remember the last time we did this, you we got a lot of calls, a lot of comments on YouTube. You love her, so I'm bringing her back. One of my good friends as well. Felani, hello and welcome to Kababayan hello. LA. Hello. Thank how, you for having me. How is feng shui sisters doing? It's, it's doing good. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are catching on that this is a modern art form and it is really beneficial so it's nice I, li I like it and you were just here um, a few months ago yes. and let's talk about that how often should you be practicing feng shui how often should you be rearranging stuff in your rooms or adding stuff I always like to say take baby steps so for example if you if you're just starting off and you're getting to know the areas of your home and what is what like wealth is here love is there so maybe take baby steps and just now and again maybe you can start with once a month do a refresher some people do it once a year during the new year or you can even you know eventually go into once a week or like for myself I practice it and breathe it every day because it's just something that mentally is conscious plus you've been doing this for years so it's, right. it's all there right so you know if I'm out shopping you know I'm, I'm practicing feng shui because I know if, if I'm buying just a little tiny worldly possession like a toothbrush mm -hmm. I know what color I'm gonna get because I know where my toothbrush sits in my uh, <laughs> in okay. my home okay. so just little things like that matter and obviously you've memorized the areas and right. for those of you just right. as a refresher let's uh, take a look at this bagua because um, you can use this for any home um, it's pretty self-explanatory, but for yes. today we're going to be talking about health yes. and wealth. Yes. Okay, <laughs> That's so what we here, do. Yes. So the most important thing is to find the right area of your home. So as you're walking in through the front door of your home, it should land on either knowledge, career, or helpful people, which are the first front three squares. So you're going to lay this over your home mm -hmm. from a bird's eye view, and as you enter... Um, through the first three squares, you will find health in the very center of your home. Okay. Okay. So the very center of your home, the best thing for this area would be earth because earth is the best element to work in your favor here. So a candle like so on my, the table here is really good for health because candles create earth. It's part of the creative cycle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my grandma used to say one candle in your health area and you're home free in the health department. So okay. does keep it a matter, candle there. Does it matter and, what color? Well, I chose a, ye a yellow one because yellow is really good mm -hmm. um, because yellow in feng shui equals earth. So okay. every color, every shape represents something um, in feng shui. Does, does it matter? You said one candle, you're okay. Does it, is, is there such a thing as overdoing it? Yeah, I mean, you know, let's start with one candle. The best, uh, you know, every gua, every square has a certain number that's really good. So nine is a good number here. You know, I wouldn't say, you know, you don't have to put nine candles there. Yes. But you can incorporate nine in, in other ways. All know? right. Yeah. And uh, we have a picture also that yes. um, this is your home, right? I yes. can just imagine I, I your home <laughs> is probably just not just uh, superbly decorated, but also through feng shui. Feng shui yes. To the max. yes, yes. Let's yes. take a look at this photo. Okay. I think uh, the photo I took here, yes, two pictures, square shape, as I was mentioning, squares equal earth in feng shui, the color red equals fire, so I have, you know, and incorporating art as part of feng shui, I had put these two um, uh, square art uh, uh, art in the health department just because it's square shape and they're red mm -hmm. and uh, so I have those working in my favor there all right and so for those of you who are looking at your health and you want to maybe you know avoid uh, health issues and health problems what's good to have in the health department we put a slide up earlier if we can uh, bring yes. it back again so fruit, okay, so fruit fruit is a natural plastic calling fruits? for good health even plastic fruit okay. it doesn't have to be real to work for you so okay. Plastic fruit and try to choose ones that are yellow or red. Those colors are really good. Square shapes, as you saw in the, you know, as I incorporate into my artwork, I did square frames. Uh, fire, like the candle here on the table, is really good. Mm -hmm. Okay? And red, too. As and color. red, yes. And red because red, red equals fire. Is red good in the prosperity section? A little bit of red goes a long way in almost every single gua. This is considered a lucky color. Color. Okay. <laughs> they say, you know, um, this year, because it's year of the snake, they say you right. have to wear something red every day in order to be lucky, just they say. A, oh. Uh, you, no, whether it's outside that. or inside, just something <laughs> red every day. Even I don't know if you follow polish. that. Maybe. <laughs> All right. And you have some uh, props for oh, us yes, today, We're too. moving okay. on to wealth. Yes. This is really a great... Um, area to enhance if you're looking to make more money mm -hmm. or get a raise or just to find, you know, random money laying around would be nice too. <laughs> um, so uh, if we can, yeah, so your wealth area, 
Um, should we look for it first? On, yes, on the let's map? look for it okay. on the bagua, please. Yes. So on the bagua, as you walk in through your front door, mm -hmm. you're going to walk to the very, very far left corner of your home. Okay. Okay, it's that purple square there, wealth and prosperity. Okay, so once you've found that corner, um, you want to add things. The best colors there are purple, green, and gold. Mm -hmm. Purple is a power color here. So think of purple as... Um, an international color, color of money. And it's the color of royalty, too. So what, yes. what's oh. good here, you said, was um, yes. wealth, is, uh, images of wealth. Yes, and images of wealth. Uh, moving objects. I found this cute guy here. He's moving. Um, he has a little bit of red. So he has the energy is not on the stale? Base. Yeah, it's just anything that's kinetic that moves on its own okay. when it's placed in the prosperity section is is like money constantly coming in. Money and the crystal too. In. What does the crystal do? And the do? crystal just anything, images of wealth. Mm -hmm. So I have a crystal there. It's just, um, you know, it, it looks like a big diamond, so it represents an abundance. Um, and then I have a gold little container here and that I have at home. There. And then some coins inside, and they're actually rare coins, also, again, representing wealth. Wonderful. Health and wealth. So. When we return on the show, family and relationships don't go away.